All right, so let's talk about this vacuum and why we pulled this vacuum and, and how that works that benefits us on a air conditioning system. Got our field piece vacuum pump, got my refrigerant gauges. Um, I've hooked up my uh, recovery and evacuation hose to my vacuum pump and I'm taking the suction line and I'm gonna show you this, uh, just this uh, demonstration. This is uh, just a bottle uh, I got out of my uh, wife's garage. So uh, put a little uh, refrigerant fitting in here, glued it on here, used epoxy so I got a nice good seal. Gonna put my uh, refrigerant hose on there. And the whole purpose of this is I wanna pull a vacuum on this small jar, just to kind of show you what happens when we when we pull a, a, a bottle or we pull a refrigerant system into a vacuum. The whole purpose of doing that is so that we can boil out the refrigerant. We can pull out any contaminants. We can pull out uh, everything in that system, get it down into a, a deep vacuum so that when we put a refrigerant charge in, our system's gonna run properly and it's gonna run nice and clean. There's no moisture that would cause acids or anything like that in the system. Uh, we also use a micron gauge. This allows us to uh, see what level of a vacuum we're pulling. If we don't pull it down to the proper vacuum, we're kind of just wasting our time. So we use a micron gauge, a vacuum gauge, and it helps us see that. Um, on our refrigerant gauges, we can also read when we go below zero down to 30, uh, negative 30, which is just a very small um, scale very difficult to see. It's impossible to tell if we've got a good vacuum or not. That's why we use a vacuum gauge, a micron gauge, so that we're able to see exactly what pressure we built and we pulled this thing down to. Our hopes, our intent is to bring it down to about 500 microns, seal everything off, make sure it holds. If it does, then we're good to go. Put refrigerant into the system, start it up and you're done. The reason we put a system into a vacuum is so that we can boil off any refrigerant that's in the system and we can boil off any moisture that's possibly in the system. When we've opened up the system, we've replaced the compressor, um, maybe we've replaced the unit and our line sets have been open for a half a day or a day or longer. Once we get it all connected, sealed, pressure checked, make sure there are no leaks, then we can put the system in a vacuum. So I'm gonna just turn this vacuum pump on. I wanna show you when we do the, the pressure temperature relationship of water or refrigerant, when we lower the pressure on a system, we also lower the boiling point. This water in this container, if I was to want it to get it to boil, being at sea level, I would have to be at 212 degrees to get this water to boil, to get it to boil so that I can turn it into a vapor, I can put it into my vacuum pump and exhaust it out through my vacuum pump. Getting this water to 212 degrees is not practical, wouldn't make sense. So another way I can do that is to lower the pressure. If I lower the pressure, I lower the boiling point. It's about 65, 70 degrees in my garage right now, and I'm gonna boil water at 65 degrees. Let me show you how that works. Okay, so let's turn this vacuum pump on. You can see right now my scale, I'm, I'm way high on my microns. I'm basically at uh, atmospheric pressure. Uh, got my valves closed, vacuum pump. See, my gauges are closed. I want to open my high side manifold so that my vacuum gauge can read through my manifold. I'm going to open my low side gauges and let's turn this vacuum pump on. Hope you can still hear me here. There you go. Let me open up my gauge. I've now got a vacuum on my entire system. See my micron gauge is dropping. Let me open up my valve to my bottle. And as I lower the pressure, let's see, I'm about uh, 5,000 microns, 6,000. Probably gonna hold there because I've got all this moisture that I'm boiling. So you can see I'm boiling water. This is not hot, it's not, it's very cool, 65, 70 degrees. Because I've lowered the pressure in the container, I've lowered the boiling point of water, now it's boiling at 70 degrees, sitting here in my garage. And it'll continue to boil until it vaporizes all of this 
liquid into a vapor. I could take days at this point, but what I'm trying to show you is that by lowering the pressure, the, the pressure into this uh, container, any enclosed system, whether it's an air conditioning unit, refrigeration unit, what have you, by lowering the pressure with a vacuum pump, I lower the boiling point, I'm able to convert any little bit of liquid or moisture that's in my system, boil it into a vapor, pull it into my hoses, be able to move it out of the system. Once all this liquid was gone, you would see my micron gauge start to come down and would hold probably less than 300, 500 microns. I could valve everything off. I would be ready to put refrigerant back in. So that's the whole purpose of a vacuum pump. I'm able to lower pressure point, lower a boiling point, get any moisture, uh, boil off any refrigerant that's in my system, get all the nitrogen out, air out, everything that's possibly in my system, get it out, seal it off, put refrigerant back in, I'm good to go.